Soon Jin's son says she's been living out her dream of having a restaurant in America, but it hasn't been easy. I am uh, all the time hard worker. I'm too much working every day. Sun moved from South Korea with her children 12 years ago to try to give them a better life. Three months ago, they opened the restaurant Shibu Shibuya, a hot pot style restaurant and bakery. Sun works 12 hour shifts seven days a week. And after what happened last week, she says that's still not enough. This person just decides to steal our money that we can't worked so hard for. Last Wednesday at lunchtime, a woman came into the restaurant and said she was waiting for a friend. Over the course of about 15 minutes, the woman is captured on surveillance video sneaking around to the kitchen area, looking around. Then she makes her move, dashing behind the counter and grabbing the owner's purse, making off with the restaurant's $3,000 cash deposit, among other valuables. I cried. Family later learned the same woman then went to a neighboring Korean restaurant where their cameras captured her lurking, but they say she left that business empty handed. We're already having hard time with Corona. Why would you have to add another, you know, hardship to our family? Federal Way Police say within just the first three months of this year, there were 714 theft cases, which is about the same as this time last year. Burglary numbers are down compared to last year, but robbery is up 6%. I pay attention all the time. Somebody come in, I might be oh, scared. The theft is particularly difficult because before opening the restaurant, Sun ran a bakery nearby where on one occasion her purse was stolen and on a Christmas Eve morning her car was stolen. They hoped this location would be safer. I know like how hard my mom had to work for that money for a person to just so easily just take that away from her. Olivia Lavoie, Q13 News. If you have any information on who that woman is that's seen in that surveillance video, please contact Federal Way Police.